Hello YouTube, it's Tiki Strinkets here again, and today I have for you a new session. Let me just lower this. I mean, yeah. A new thing I'm starting on my YouTube channel. I want to try to diversify my channel and not just keep myself so narrow. But this is a new segment. That's the word I'm looking for. A new segment. Let me readjust the light. There we go. That I'm going to start doing called Helpful Hardware. I think that's the name I'm going to stick with. Everything I review in this new segment will not necessarily be hardware itself but it just seems like a catchy word because of the double repetitive letters you know what I mean helpful hardware it's gonna be items that are for crafting or not necessarily for crafting that you can use for crafts obviously to do something art related I'm gonna review an item like say how I like it where I got it from and give one or two, maybe even more uses for what you could use it for. The first thing I'm going to start with is this. This is an engraver pen that I got from... Well, I actually went on a trip with my boyfriend and his family recently. It was... Well, depends on how long it is before I upload this video. We went out of town to Asheville, North Carolina back in December. Close to my birthday, actually. And while I was there... We went into an outlet mall, and I was so excited, but one of the stores there was a tool store. And I'm like, ew, I don't want to go in a tool store. There's not going to be anything I like here. Little, lo and behold, I actually found two things I wanted, and there was probably more I could have found if we weren't on a time crunch. But these two things have been amazing, but today I'm just going to review this one. And this is, like I said, the engraver pen. I'm going to list down below in the description below... Trying to get it to focus so you can see it full 360. In the description below, a link to buy it. Well, obviously, I bought mine in North Carolina, and I don't have the original packaging. But I'm going to list an Amazon link to the exact same product with good reviews. Because I want, you know, it to be, in my opinion, you know, safe. A safe transaction. So, this one I paid about retail price... Four dollars, and that's the listing I'm going to list below on Amazon is around two to five dollars, somewhere in that range. <clears throat> and what this is is it's an engraver that you can hold like a pin, and the only thing you have to do is open this up, like so, righty tidy, lefty loosey. There we go. There's a spring mechanism in here that also has whoop, two batteries in it that I dropped. These are just the batteries that came with, because mine did come with batteries. You place that back down in there. And find the grooves on the inside where these notches go in. I always have so much fun trying to do this behind the camera, let me tell you. Twist it, get it relocked, and then voila, you're ready to go. And like I said, it is an engraver pin. So you hold it like a pin, and when you press the button, this is it turned on fully. If you do accidentally nick your finger, it's alright. It won't hurt. I don't recommend. I highly do not recommend. It is not safe to press your finger against it for a long period of time. But I have accidentally nicked myself with it and been fine. Alright, so I've told you the retail price. I'm going to put in the link in the description down below a link to buy it for about the same retail price I purchased it for. I told you what it is. It's an engraver pen. <clears throat> I showed you the batteries it takes, which are double A's, two of them, the inside, the outside, and now I'm going to show you some uses for this engraver pen. The first thing is since I'm a polymer clay crafter mainly, I'm going to show you some uses for polymer clay that you can use this pen for. If you get dust particles on your clay, like I do a lot, it's going to be very hard to see this. Oh, actually, it's very evident. Okay. On light colored clay like this white, you could take this pen and go over, go over, go over the stains. Alright, now I'm going to blow it off, off the camera, into my trash can, and not on the floor. And if it'll focus... You can see there's, well, besides the clay particles, 
there is a lot less dust particles on that white clay. However, on the darker colors like this brown, I mean this gray color, you see this white right here. I'm going to try to get that off with this pen. When you do that, you actually tarnish the original color of the clay. You can only use this for clay dust remover, dust particles remover, when it's a very light color like ballerina pink with Sculpey, um, white Sculpey, Prima white Sculpey, uh, stuff like that. You can also use it, you know, like if you forget the indent where the eye goes after you baked it, you can do that. Or need to make a hole to put in a, a eye screw or an eye pin, a head pin after you baked it. You can use it for that. It's actually a very helpful tool in many ways. I'm still finding new ways to use it to this day for clay. But I just got it, like I said, mid-December. Next, I also... I'm going to back up some because I'm going to have to move, y'all. I'm so sorry. Y'all are flying. And readjust. Next thing is, I also do... Um, I do art galleries now. I did my first one this past December. I'm very proud of that. I've actually started off drawing before I was crafting. I'll save all that for another video, a blog about my life or something like that. But little short story, long story short, if I can get the expression right, I also do paintings and drawings. So, oops. This is a painting I have, which this is not going to work. We're going to have to back up a good bit. Yeah. And it's on a standard wooden frame that you could get at like Walmart or Hobby Lobby, Michaels, wherever. And you, to hang them in an art gallery, which I found out, looking like an idiot, coming in there with my, hook, my hooks glued on, you have to get hooks, which I'll review the hooks, the wires, and blah, blah, blah in other videos. But today we're just focusing on the fact that you can use this clay... I mean, this engraving pen, take it to the side of the wooden frame, like this, and go ahead and indent where you're going to put these hooks at, and it makes it so much easier to screw these hooks into the wooden frame. Trust me, that's how I did all the hooks on the back of my picture frames recently. It's so much easier. Alright, let's get zoomed back in now. My zooming is just picking up the whole tripod and <clears throat> moving it because I'm lazy. And now I'm bumping you guys. But yeah, right now this is all the uses I've found for this engraver pen. Oh, and the original packaging that it came with said that you can also use this pen not only on wood and clay, but you can also use it on glass and plastic. I actually have a water bottle I'm drinking out of right here. And... It works on plastic, if you can see this. It kind of works on plastic, but it's not as nice. Same thing with glass. It's not as nice with glass. It, it takes some pressure, like you have to push a little harder when you're doing it. And if you push too hard, it'll actually stop itself. So, you can't push that hard either. So I don't recommend using it for plastic and glass, but it says it is made to be used with plastic and glass. Like I said, I love this product overall, but the only downside is this tip right here. I don't know if it's replaceable yet. I didn't see that in the description listing on Amazon. Yeah, you see how it's kind of frayed and bumpy looking? That's from using it for, for like I said, right now I'm recording this... December 29th, so I got it mid-December. I haven't used it that much, and the tip's already frayed like that. <clears throat> so, it just shows the integrity of the metal part might not hold up so well. Yeah, but so far it's fine. I don't know if the tips are removable. That's what I was looking for. I don't know. Hopefully, if y'all find out before I do, please make sure to help me out and Leave that down in the comment section about finding new tips. If not, there's a whole bunch of other engraver pen models. But I'm only going to link in the description below a link to buy this on Amazon. This exact model. And it is very cheap. Like I said, it's retail, val retail value. I bought it for was like $340 something. 
I'm pretty sure it was around that. But yeah, like I said, overall great product. I'm very happy I got it. Alright, I hope you all like this first installment of the helpful hardware segment. If I can get that tongue twister out. <laughs> and I will be doing a lot more like this, so stay tuned on my channel so you can see more amazing videos like this. And I hope it helps you out. Again, if y'all have any comments you want to tell me about the product, if you get it and look at it, you know, review it yourself. Let me know if you find other ways to use it. Alright, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!